This time I'm going to see if I can start it by myself here. It seemed to run pretty good. Made a couple of adjustments to it. the spring on the spring tensioner but it looks like it could use even more. I don't know if I could put enough on it. it sounds kind of like a three cylinder. They got a couple smoky engines here. Shut the gas off. Decent. I don't know if I can rev it much higher than that. Shutter down here. Yeah, I figured out uh, what the deal is with the light switches. Normally, when you shut the motor off, you ground out the spark. So, up until that point, you don't want conductivity in that wire. So, when the switch is on, it conducts through it. So, I have to have them off. Wait a minute, I have to have them on so it doesn't conduct. Anyways, I don't know. I figured it out, but it, it made sense that uh, I, don't, I don't want electricity uh, going through the switch or else it grounds out my ignition. So it, it works different backwards to your regular light. Anyway, so we got, uh, got a couple uh, good runs out of it there. I'll show you my chain tensioner here. It's, it's getting kind of chewed up there. Well, I guess I can't lift it up anymore, but you can see getting getting chewed there from the chain 
so it'll it'll break itself in you can see a slot getting worn into it there but uh, that's fine got all this dust from it there all over the, the motor there so that's good so now I'll fix up three more motors and build another intake manifold and having a debate whether to go for the bottom row or the top row on the other side so anyway appreciate everybody watching my videos here and uh, glad I'm finally able to get uh, some type of semblance of a run out of it on this frame here so everybody have a good one and take care